I am a tart girl. I love tart makeup. So if you want to see my tart collection, stick with me. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to share with you my tart collection. So I don't like pride myself in having, oh, this is all the stuff I have from Tarte. It's just this is the stuff that I've collected over time and I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on it. Um, once I've used something up, I get rid of it. It's not like I hold on to it. And then the other thing is, is I don't buy lots and lots of it just so I can have it. I buy what I use and then I try to weed out. Um, probably twice a year I go through my makeup, hair, stuff like that, and then just get rid of the stuff that I'm not loving. So I'm probably getting close to that time. This isn't all the makeup that I own, this is just the stuff from Tarte. I'm gonna start with lips. These are the only lip products I have from Tarte. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of their lip products. I've tried the Lip Surgeons, they're like a lip crayon. They have peppermint in them and they kind of hurt my lips. And then these are the lip glosses. I actually got them last year with like a Christmas kit. These are the only two I kept. I had other ones. These are the colors that I like, but honestly their formula is pretty sticky. So I'm not a humongous fan. If you have a favorite lip product from Tarte, I would love to hear. So maybe there's something I'm missing, but um, lip stuff's not my favorite. All right, I'm gonna move on to the face, the foundation stuff. So I've got three different ones with three different purposes that I'm using that I love. Uh, the one that I have bought multiple times now is the Amazonian Clay uh, Tinted BB Cream, and my color is light medium. This is my favorite. It doesn't hide all your imperfections, but just kind of gives you an even skin uh, look, and I like that. This I just recently picked up. It's called the Maracuja Miracle, and I thought it was going to be pretty heavy, and it's not. It's very moisturizing, and it's very thin, but it lasts all day, so I'm liking this. This is a new thing that I'm trying. And then this is an old favorite, and actually it's the very first thing that I bought from Tarte, and it's lasted forever. I actually got this on a recommendation from an extremely famous YouTuber, uh, Nikki Philippi, and again, my color is light med medium. And this is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush, Airbrush Foundation, and it comes, well, you have to buy the brush, but it comes with a brush. I love this. My skin airs on the dry side, so I have to make sure my skin's very hydrated. It's got this like mesh, looks like like pantyhose type <laughs> material here, and then you push the brush into it. You have to tap it off and then you buff it in. I really like this. Um, I go through s seasons where I use this and then I go over to the BB. And now the new Maracuja one that I'm for concealer, I'm not extremely picky with concealer, but I have found a favorite. So I'm going to start with, and I can't even read it, but it's Creaseless Waterproof. Um, this is the Maracuja one. I can't tell you the color or anything. It's all wiped off. Um, I've been liking it, but it's kind of tacky when it um, is applied. So you either have to set it, but then you end up with creases, and you don't want that. I'm in my 30s. Nobody wants extra creases on your face. But I've done this one a couple times now, and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12-Hour Concealer, and I got it in light sand, and it's in this metal tube. I actually, this is my second one I've purchased. I have one in my makeup bag for on the go, and this one's for the house, and it's in a metal tube. I really, really like this, and it does set, and it's the right color. So this is amazing. I probably won't repurchase this one. All right, moving on to the eyes. I'm going to start with eyebrows. This is probably my favorite product from Tarte, and I thought I would give it a try and see. I'd heard a lot of people talk about this Anastasia brow stuff. I like brows. I like them to be filled in. Um, I don't have really thick brows. I used to get them waxed when I was... Was it waxed? Does that sound right? Yeah, waxed. Um, I used to get them waxed when I was in high school, and it kind of has stuck, so I barely have to pluck my eyebrows, but this is just the shape. I'd like them to be a little bit thicker, but this is what I have. I mean, this is what I've got. But I like to fill them in a little bit. And I've had this years, guys, and it is lasting. It's in the color medium brown. It's the waterproof brow mousse with Amazonian clay. And it comes like this. And um, you just kind of dip your brush in that. You can see like the divots where I dip my brush in. And this is the brush. It's got this end and then the spoolie. And so you just dip it in the product your eyebrows stay all day and then you can kind of shape them a little bit before it sets. This has lasted so long and I honestly wasn't sure how I was going to love it, but I do. I really, really love this. 
All right, moving on to mascara. I have two here. And I have the Lights Camera Splashes. And I used to have, it looks exactly like this, but it's called Lights Camera Lashes. I love the Lights Camera Lashes. I've bought it a couple times now. It is recommended by high-end makeup artists. Everybody loves Lights Camera Lashes. Now the Lights Camera Splashes, I think is great if you're needing waterproof mascara. It is a booger to get off. I mean, you can with makeup remover, but it's just, you know, it doesn't just come off easily. And it's not buildable because once you put it on, it starts like clumping. Oh, I'm just not a fan of waterproof mascara. So this is what I have. I barely use it, but I keep it for those occasions where you need waterproof mascara. But I had a sample of the Gifted and I just um, hauled this not too long ago. So I bought the large size of the Gifted and I love it. Love, 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 love. It is buildable. If you need to reapply in the middle of the day, if you want to before you go out at night, you can. And it looks incredible. All right, I'm going to go into eyeliner and then palettes, which I have a lot of palettes. Here is my eyeliner collection from Tarte and I have a couple other that are in pots. Um, let me just say, I bought most of these from like a QVC deal. It had a whole bunch of colors and I thought, well, it was like 20 or $30, I can't remember, and you got all these eyeliners, so it was so much better than buying a few here and there. And um, so I've got, you know, like navy and gold and plum and brown and black. These do not stay put. I do not have oily eyelids, but um, I live in Florida, so it is hot. I don't reach for these. The only one I do reach for, but again, it doesn't stay put, I have to like reapply, is this one. It's the nude one, and it goes on the, um, I don't even know what that's called. It opens up your eyes if you're having a really tired morning. It's really good to open your eyes and like make you look wide awake. So yeah, I have all of these. I don't reach for them that often, but I will tell you what I'm reaching for right now. So I bought this one thinking this would be like my end all be all. I won't need any others. This is the black and bronze limited edition dual eyeliner. And I bought this again. I saw a YouTuber do a haul and I, it was on sale on their website. And I think I know why. I think it was old because it came out a year or two ago, but these two colors are on either side and they were touching. And now look at it they've separated so I'm assuming this is because it's really old um, but I figured this would be enough for me to use I don't love it and it is hard so I think that's why it was on sale so sometimes you have to be careful with these online sales with makeup um, so I'm probably just gonna get rid of this but this is what I just purchased and I'm loving I wanted to wait till I tried it for a little bit this is an Amazonian clay waterproof liner. This I do like in waterproof so that your eyeliner doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> it comes in this little pot and I got it part of a kit and it is really, um, I don't know how else to describe it, wet when you put your brush in. This is not solidified and it came with this brush that's dual ended. This, this is the end I use. Oops, I lost the cap. This is the end I use because it's angled and then there's a straight end too. So I love that option. It's got the bamboo handle, but I put it on and it's there all day. So I would love to get this in other colors. I'm liking the waterproof liner. Here are my palettes with Tarte. Uh, I've got, here are two of the smaller palettes. This one here is called the Clay of Life. It's a um, colored eyeshadow palette and I can't give you all the colors. Uh, names, but it's got four colors, and this isn't quite dark enough to do it, the shading and the crease. This is really dark and nice, and this one I like on the lid, and this is like the highlight. So I wish this was a little bit darker, and this would be like the perfect palette for me. But if you're on the go and you need to pack light, this gives you a range of colors so you can kind of make a nice look for your trip. Then this one is called the Tartlet Tease. And that's what the name of it is. And it comes with six colors. Um, I love that color all over the lid. And then you have a couple for highlights and then a little bit to go deeper. I have this contour palette. I was hoping this was going to be my contour palette. Um, this is the Park Avenue Princess contour, contour palette because it's got the blush, a highlight, and a bronzer. But this bronzer is really looking orange on me. And... Um, the highlight isn't really what I was looking for, so I've used it a couple times, but it really didn't work for me. So I've got to 
purge this one. This palette I um, was really looking forward to. It's just because it looked so cool. It's called Golden, D Golden Days and Sultry Nights. I saw some reviews after I got it that said the quality wasn't quite there, that it was um, a little powdery, and it is. So you've got some eyeshadows, a bronzer, and a highlight. And um, I just thought the colors were pretty. This is my very first palette that I bought with Tarte and it's well loved. I've hit pan on a couple of them and I've taken this for travel a lot and this is called the Tarte Rainforest After Dark and um, again saw an awesome YouTuber share about it and I learned so much and I thought I just need this. It'll give me everything I need so I can travel with the bronzer, the highlight, the blush, and then these awesome eyeshadows. You can tell I've really dipped into this gold one because it's really pretty. See, it's so pretty. <laughs> um, the bronzer's okay, and the and the highlight's nice in this, and then the blush was almost too, too close to my natural skin color, so it didn't look like I was wearing blush, so I have not worn that one. This is Away We Go, and it's spelled O-U-I, and this was a Christmas kit, and it was really awesome. It came with a whole bunch of stuff. But the main reason why I got it is because of this gorgeous aqua. I love that color. Can you tell my wall here? I love this aqua color. What it was is it's got these pearls and you could refill and it's magnetic. So you can pull, pull out your palette and put in another one. Look how dirty this is. So this is made not from plastic but cardboard. So it gets very dirty when you dip your brushes in. Look at that. Um, well, what was neat about it is on the back of each one, these are plastic, they labeled what each um, product was, and then there's a mirror. Now if this was in its each individual like container, you could give each one of these away for Christmas, that would have been nice, and then I could have kept a couple for me, but they didn't. So I'm using this one right now. I have three other palettes, so I've really used this one, I love that peach blush. But these would have been great to give away as gifts, but they're not in individual containers. They're all open shadows and blushes. So that's my big doggy for <laughs> from Tarte. Uh, I would love to hear if you have a favorite product from Tarte. Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you for watching. If you've still stuck around to this point, um, that's my Tarte collection. So I will see you guys in another video. As always, I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday here on Madeira Green Moments and then on our new vlog channel on Mondays. And I will be having a cruise vlog coming up. We're going to Disney World too, so I will post those videos in the coming weeks. So thanks, guys. I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye.